Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the start of the Summit Lake series. This series is going to be bringing you highlights of the build that we are doing on Twitch. Check out the description for a link to my Twitch channel and also be sure to subscribe here so that you don't miss any of these highlight videos. We've made a good bit of progress since the first announcement video, so let's go check it out. We are still in scenario editor. I am hoping that we can wrap up the scenario portion and actually get to playing the map very soon. We've gotten a lot of the terrain work done, creating this nice backdrop for the park. We've also started on some of the work next to the road and trying to make the entrance coming up to the parking lot as aesthetically pleasing as we can. We've put down a small ticket booth for the parking, and I think I want to start off with a small one, and maybe as the park grows, we can actually redo that and expand it. We've also made pretty good progress on the drop-off and pickup area of the park. Um, there's a lane to the left side of the ticket booth that you can kind of bypass, and that'll take you to the bus stop and drop-off area. Here's the overview for the traffic pattern that we've got established. This was the best that I could come up with. I looked at Carowinds parking lot for traffic flow. For the actual bus station pickup zone, we're using a wonderful blueprint from Mr. Orange. I really enjoy the simplistic and planet coaster themed look to this bus station. On a side note, I will be making a collection in the Steam Workshop of all of the blueprints that are being used in the park that are not something that I have created. Perhaps the bit that I'm most proud of is this parking lot. I'm ecstatic on how it came out. I couldn't have even imagined it actually turning out this well. We've got the guests spawning under the pavement and so they walk up in between cars and then they'll come down the lanes to the entrance of the park. That was a design concept I had had for a while and I was really worried that it wouldn't actually play out like I thought it would. I would also really like your opinion here. I've got these two posts that are kind of like the guards to make sure that when you're making this turn, you don't actually hit the planters. Are you in favor of having these or not? Please let me know down in the comments. And that is where we are at right now. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this quick highlight on the progress. I know I'm very pleased with the progress we're making, even though it is going a little bit slower than I had thought it would but it's also coming out much better than I anticipated. I want to give a big thanks to everybody who has joined me on Twitch and has helped contribute ideas. That's extremely helpful, and I'm very appreciative of that. I've also got some other exciting news. Uh, we've got a Discord server now. It's a great place where you can show off some of your work, and we can all just work together as a community to grow and become better builders. I would love to see some of the stuff that you're working on, so I hope to see you over on Discord. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next episode.